we have one question. Will we have to pay for the Red Dead Redemption 2 summer update? Stay tuned for later in this video as I liaise with our undercover informant, Google, on Rockstar's plans for the impending update. What's up guys, BTM boy back at you with another video and so today guys we're going to be talking about the Red Dead Redemption 2 update. So if you didn't already know, after leaving fans in the dark for months, Rockstar went full alumni on the 2nd of August when they released this teaser. Why does this confirm their association with the Illuminati? because they use the word soon, which gives hope to the people, distracting us from the real truth. Well, at least the Illuminati promotes female equality, right? And in this update, they announced that we will be able to play different character roles. And those character roles include the bounty hunter, the trader, and the collector, all three of which come with their own unique differences. If you guys want to know more about these roles, then check out my previous video. Now this is the problem guys, and the question we have to ask ourselves is when does an update become a DLC and how much is Rockstar willing to give us for free? Now for those of you who have been following the recent updates, it is clear to see the vast scale of this new announcement compared to our usual Tuesday drop, consisting of recycled clothes from the previous week's limited stock some kind of meaningless XP bonus, and some new cutlery if we're lucky. In fact, it was such a big announcement, they dropped it on a Friday. Which got me thinking, guys. After all this, after all this time, would Rockstar have the balls to ask us for money? I mean, really? I mean, really? They're really gonna ask us for money after making us wait for all this time and not saying nothing? You ask man for money, bro. Seeing as Rockstar are now officially Illuminati confirmed, I don't see why not. So I turned to my undercover informant to see what he could unveil. Google couldn't find shit, so I went direct to Rockstar. And I still found nothing. So it turns out Rockstar are really good at disguising their intentions and the truth of what Rockstar are going to do with the impending summer update slash DLC. It's just down to us guys. It's literally down to the imagination of the Red Dead Redemption community. I don't know about you guys, but I feel as though Rockstar will be charging us for this update as it's their first real opportunity to rape us of our finances. Not only that, this will give us a true insight into the type of man Strauss Zelnick really is. Now putting the potential future financial loss on our behalf behind us, it seems Rockstar have most certainly been listening, going off what the last Newswire post states. They seem to be implementing several things which we've asked for in the past weeks, guys, or I've asked for these things anyway in my head. And you get me, and I definitely know the community has been asking for these things. They seem to be implementing the ability to own a hunting wagon for large hauls, like big ass hauls, guys, within the trading role, as well as the ability to own our own pet canine to defend our camp against impending attacks, it says. So there's some kind of, maybe there's some kind of ability for us to, to um, yeah, defend our camp against other online players, like a, a free roam PvP type thing, like a, you know what I mean? That could be cool. These were both two big requests from the Red Dead Redemption 2 community. And the thing is, guys, either one of these abilities, just the two abilities I've just stated there, would go down great within a normal Tuesday update. So me personally, I don't see why they don't just, instead of drip feeding us them same old recycled clothes, why not drip feed us like one of these things you're going to do in this update? Like, are they going to drop this update and then drip feed us certain abilities after to fulfill the update it's almost like a it's going to be a constant struggle for us but uh, i'm positive kind of so the fact that rockstar are uh, planning to release all these awesome items and abilities bunched up and more in a soon to come summer update slash dlc is both worrying and exciting is it going to be an undead nightmare part two where it's like 49.99 like a separate game you get me is it going to have like a full-on like storyline to it where you know what I mean? Or they're just going to release it into the game for the community to enjoy. I mean, I understand companies have to make money here and there, but 
We want to know. So I just wanted to spark the question amongst the Red Dead Redemption 2 community. And although cost would most likely not stop us from indulging in this ambitious update, I'd rather not be eating bread and water for the rest of the month when it comes out. So pretty much, guys, I just wanted to um, raise this question. I just had a little waffle. It was just one of them ideas. Um, it's just one of them type of videos where, like I said, you guys can just talk to me in the comments. Just let me know what you think. Um, and basically, we could turn this into like a maybe like maybe like a video series where you guys basically talk to me in the comments, and maybe we can start talking about some of the questions that you guys want answered, like up to date. You know what I mean, guys? So if you think this could be a cool video, then be sure to just subscribe to the channel, smash the like button, and uh, get involved. And other than that, thanks for stopping by with your friendly neighborhood road, man. You get me? And I'll see you in the next one. We out.